I was watching a video today on mud skippers and they had a pretty elaborate setup and a lot of times you'll run across these things by chance and not really be ready for it. Well, this is just a real quick thing of something you can do if you see them and you got to get them a day because they'll be gone or, or whatever. Um, where I got them at, the guy was tearing down a tank and gave me literally a two-for-one deal. They were super cheap. These are the African ones, the, the larger. Uh, they were in fresh water, which is not correct as far as all my research. So, I, I got these for, I think, $10 for both of them. And everything other than the salt water mix, I had at the house. So I came home, kept them fresh water, which they were fine for a while. Again, that's what they were in. Uh, I got a little preset heater, the tiny one, I think it's 50 uh, watt, buried in the gravel underneath the filter. And the filter, even if you had to buy it, they're like the little $5 ones. Uh, you know, the rock was here, I had the gravel here, the bamboo stick, makeup your brackish mix, uh, whatever, whatever you decide on, just so you got something to get them out of the, the uh, water, and you're ready to go. I mean, I got nothing here fancy. It's all just stuff I had left over and threw it together. Uh, another video I watched said, you know, they'll only eat live food, moving foods like a frog. I found that to be totally inaccurate. I use a uh, semi-thawed beef heart, uh, brine shrimp, blood worms. They will, they will eat. They won't starve. They do like worms and crickets, don't get me wrong, but I mean we're talking if you see them and you really want them, get them. It won't take much to set them up. It, the brackish stuff costs probably 50 cents worth of salt and uh, you know it's no big deal if you want to set something up later elaborate that's fine these are probably I've had them for three months maybe and if I gotta be doing something right at least semi right now they've grown probably 30 percent and uh, I just thought I'd throw this out in case anybody watched it and wanted them and were afraid, oh my God, you need all this special stuff. I can't speak for every variety of them, but the, at least the Africans are pretty tolerant. And as far as water changes, uh, they not to abuse them, but they will take a high level of ammonia. They're like the opposite of discus, so to speak. And... You know, go for it. They'll live. Just get the water where, where it's not freezing. A little preset cheap heater and cheap filter and meaty foods. Way of getting out of water when you're set. Until you do more research, it'll at least get you through. Thanks.